This is question number 18 and we are told a solid consists of a conical part, a cylindrical part and a hemispherical part. All the parts have the same diameter of 12 cm. The height of the cylindrical part is 15 and the slanting height of the conical part is 10 cm. You take pi to be 3.14 to calculate the height of the solid uh, it is important that we have a we have a, a sketch so that is a hemispheric uh, uh, that is a hemispherical part uh, this is a cylindrical part and this is a conical part so it is like that uh, so we are told that uh, this is 15 centimeter they have the same diameter 12 centimeter and uh, the slanting side here is 10 centimeter uh, so we are required to find uh, this height the height from the top to the bottom so what we need uh, we need this height here uh, height so that we add to uh, this is uh, because the diameter is 50 is 12 that is 6 this is 15 so we need this and because we have the slanting side we have this is 6 we will be able to say uh, uh, height is equals to the square root of 10 squared minus 6 squared you, you divide 12 by 2 and this will give you uh, the square root of 100 minus 36 which is equals to uh, the square root of 64 which is equals to 8 so it means this is 8 and therefore the height uh, we can use capital letter to reply the height it, it means that it is 8 uh, you add to 15 and you add to 6 and that will give you this is 23 uh, this 23 plus 6 that is 29 centimeters so that is the height of the solid uh, part b surface area of the solid uh, correct to one decimal place now surface area we need to find the surface area of the conical uh, part and how do we get that the, the the surface area of the conical part uh, we say it is pi r l and we have the uh, pi we have the radius and we have the slanting side then we are going to 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 get the surface area of the curved part so it is a uh, 2 pi r that is the circumference multiplied by the height and then we get the surface area of the hemispherical part so we say a hemisphere it is 4 uh, pi r squared that is the surface area uh, but we need to divide by two because uh, it is half it is not a complete hemisphere uh, so now we can be able to say this is 3.142 you multiply by 6 and you multiply by 10 this is the conical part pi multiply by r which is 6 multiply by slanting side which is 10 plus we say it is 2 multiply by 3.142 uh, multiply by the height which is 15 the height is 15 there uh, then we add uh, here we get 2 so we say it is 2 multiply by 3.1442 and you multiply by the radius squared so it is 6 multiplied by 6 so you can use your calculator here and uh, you say that uh, this one you'll be able to get 188.52 uh, and then you add 2 you add to 565.56 uh, then you add to 226 uh, point two two four and when you add uh, all that you will be able to get uh, nine hundred and eighty point three centimeters squared from there 
uh, then we go to part C volume of the solid correct to one decimal place uh, so the volume we need to find the volume of the conical part uh, which we say it is a that uh, pi r times pi r l so it is 3.142 uh, multiplied by 6 times 6 multiplied by the height which is 8 then we get the the, the, the serenity part which is base area times height so it is 3.142 uh, you multiply base area is a uh, 6 multiplied by 6 that is pi, pi r squared and you multiply by 15 then you you add the hemispherical part to uh, because you divide by 2 uh, because it is a half uh, we, we are supposed to use 4 divided by 3 pi r cubed and then we divide by 2 so that's why you get now these two it is like multiplying by a half so that two you cancel so it is two over three multiply by three point one four two and you multiply by r uh, cubed which is a uh, uh, six multiply by six multiply by six so when you compute that uh, you should be able to get uh, uh, two thousand four hundred and fifty point seven six and that will give you two thousand four hundred and fifty uh, point eight and that is to one decimal place that is to one decimal place uh, that is how you work out that question if you get to this stage then it means that you have scored 10 marks the question has a total of 10 marks so that's how you do that.